What's up everybody, it's BC. Continuation of what I do for a living, how to own a supercar when you're younger. And I hope this series, if anything, really motivates people and gives them a guidance or a path, a new path to take. That's really what it's for. I'm not here to brag, I'm not here to do anything else except inspire, lead people who were in my position, which I was a couple years ago. I had just finished my basketball career, said, what am I gonna do with my life? Figured it out. And now I want to impart some of that knowledge on the younger generation or maybe somebody else who is just a little bit lost, right? Part three. Now, continuing from part two, we decided, okay, in part two, you have to really find out what it is that you want, right? Now, now you know what you want. Let's say you're at a place, you know where you want to be in the next six months, year, five years, ten years, whatever it is. Now, the next question that has to be asked is what are you willing to go through? Okay, what are you willing to go through? Are you willing to go through whatever it takes? Are you willing to suffer for a couple weeks? Are you willing to suffer for a month? Because I can tell you, read up on Abraham Lincoln, read up on the, the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders, I think was his name. Read up on these people because one thing you'll find in common is that these individuals overcame a tremendous amount of obstacles to get where they're at. However, in the beginning, that commitment was made. They said, I'm willing to go through whatever it takes to see this idea through because I believe in it so much and it's worth that much to me, okay? So if I can give a real life example, when I joined real estate, I knew the potential was there, I knew why I was doing it, which we're gonna talk about next, and I said, I'm willing to go through whatever it takes to get there. If that means me be getting cussed off people's property, phones hung up on, cursed at, spit on, chewed up, uh, dogs biting me from going door to door, whatever it was, I was willing to go through it and see it through, okay? You really have to internalize that question and really be honest with yourself and, and tell yourself, what am I willing to go through? Because if you're not willing to go through a huge pain period, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be highly, highly successful. I know too many millionaires, I know too many successful entrepreneurs that went through hell. I can tell you there was months where I was terrified of not making money, I was emotional, I was doubting myself. I went through every single down moment possible getting into real estate. Now relatively speaking, I have or have had success right away. However, the extent of my success was in direct proportion to the amount of action that I took and what I was willing to go through. You see, if you're willing to go through the lowest lows of just grinding and seeing your idea through, if you're willing to go through that period where you're at the rock bottom, emotional, you're doubting yourself, that's, that's you being tested in whatever you believe in, the universe, your religion, whatever it is, that is the test saying, you want massive success, you want massive wealth, prove it, prove it. And guess what? I'm thankful now for going through those periods because I'm glad. You're not gonna have this, Lamborghinis, or massive success without being able to go through that. So I'm so glad I went through that and you have to be willing to be able to go through it too. Because I look at somebody who's not willing to go through that and I say, great, that's why I'm in this position and I deserve to be in this position because I was willing to go through that. You have to answer that question. Now, if you're willing to do that self-sacrifice to just give it up and be at the low of the low, you will succeed. Now, a lot of people will commit to that and then when it gets a little bit uncomfortable, they'll break. You must see it through. There's a difference between getting knocked down, being off for half a day or a day, and then boom, getting right back on the horse and going at it. Big difference. However, you must be willing to go through whatever it takes. It might take you a month to have the breakthrough. It might take you six months. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. You need to know in the back of your mind that in that moment that you have the breakthrough, it is worth it. It took me months. Now I can tell you the amount of action I was taking in that time was massive. I was talking to minimum 50 to 60 new people every single day trying to build my business. I know very few people that do that and most of that was going door to door. Okay, that was probably four or five hours of going door to door, probably six days a week. And on the seventh day I would still do work, but more on the phone. I just wanted to stay out of the sun for a little bit. What are you willing to go through, right?
And of course, the next step is massive action, no matter what. You must believe and you must take massive action. Now I see I've already hit five minutes, so I'm gonna cut this video off here and I'm gonna make a part four. But answer that question, and that question must be answered and you need to be 100% honest because if you claim that you're willing to go through it and you really aren't willing to go through it, guess what, buddy, you're gonna fail. I made the commitment. Keep this in mind as the last thought. If you want an extreme life, if you want extreme results, you're going to have to do some extreme shit. So if you're, if you're in sales, which most people watching probably will be in sales or will um, travel towards sales or a career in sales, I'm talking like massive prospecting, massive calling, massive rejection, massive everything. If it doesn't have the word massive in front of it, it's not enough. And it's never enough until it's enough. I'm doing very well. I'm building multiple businesses now and I'm still pushing every single day and taking massive action and you must do the same. But remember my friends, what are you willing to go through? You've already picked what you want. Now, connecting the dots, what are you willing to go through in order to get what you want? Remember that, okay? I'll see you guys on the next video. Go to my website if you haven't already, briancasella.com. Follow me on all my social media outlets. It was at the beginning of the video and it will be here at the end and I'll see you guys on the next one.